Hey, this is Matt. Once again, we're about to end another video. There's another paid request, this time for Edward. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos or commentaries or reactions or reviews or topics or whatever it may be, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for South Park Season 6, Episodes 14 and 15. And then you write into them, Episode 14, this deals with the teacher, Mr. Garrison, who, now that the school has changed their ways on him being gay, he gets a job as a fourth grade teacher. But he finds out that from the, the principal, well, we can't fire you for being gay, otherwise we have to pay you if you try to sue us. So then Mr. Garrison does whatever he can to try to get fired in order to sue. So he, like, brings this slave, this gay guy in a biker outfit, that Mr. Dares in Spain. But and this is I this is where I'm like, where's this episode going? And okay. It's about how you can overdo tolerance. Tolerance doesn't mean you have to accept it. Tolerance tolerance doesn't mean you can't say anything at all. Yes, it's okay to be tolerant, but there can also be limits to that as well. And that's sort of the whole point of it. Is that when you go overboard on it, like here the uh, the kids are trying to explain. Yeah, we're we're trying to see this. F no, 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 kids, you're intolerant. You need to go to the Museum of Tolerance. And then later on, they go to like a black and white tolerance camp. So it's like Schindler's List, but for <laughs> in order to be tolerant. And like, there's a bit where the Mr. Garrison really trying to get fired into this crowd and allow the crowd are so PC tolerant that no matter what the guy does, they just keep going, it's so courageous. So, so courageous. And the parents like, what the fuck? So that's the thing is that you can be tolerant doesn't mean you have to accept the shit. I do like that Isaac Hayes appears more in these two episodes because, uh, you know, rest in peace Isaac Hayes. He's a fun asset, a chef. Here, he you know, finds out what's happening with the kids, and he tries to tell the principal, but the principal's like, we gotta go put him into a tolerance school. And Isaac Hayes, like, curse in a storm. What the fuck? Like, what? <laughs> the other part of this episode was very strange, but it was kind of strange and, and weird... So weird that it did make me chuckle. One of the things Mr. Garrison does is shove a gerbil up his slave's ass. But then you see this gerbil named Lemmy Winks going on a journey, a journey through the day die as the song erupts and it becomes like a Lord of the Rings type of journey through the body. Where the gerbil is going through and he, these ghosts of other animals, like a frog with a crown and I forget what the other two were. Was it a bird and something else talk to him? The gerbil never says anything, but they talk to him to go on this journey. And he does make it out and becomes the gerbil team. But he was just so weird and so off tilter and so unexpected that I was kind of fascinated to see where it was going. And I guess I just figured, oh, they just don't kill it off and it'll be like a fake out. No, they committed to it. And he did journey out of the, the day, man. And the ghosts are like, we're free and you are now the gerbil king. I, I thought there was going to be like some kind of weird or weirder fake out twist like immediately the gerbil get killed or no made it out he's a gerbil king just and apparently I read up that other people on the crew were like what the fuck is this dude like this is stupid and the only people that were laughing was Trey and, and Matt and uh in a weird way that was the my favorite part of the episode because it's so weird it's like I want to see where the fuck this is going. <laughs> and as a song that's trying to be like the 
what was that thing, the cable guy, what was it called, where they went to, I used to know the damn name of it, Medieval Times, like a song you would hear, Medieval Times, but it was, the lyrics were about this gerbil traveling through a gay man, like Jesus Christ, but I guess, it was definitely uh, unique. And then episode 15 was another one of those episodes where they they center on someone and shit on them. And the only reason this episode exists is to shit on this person. But usually I'm bothered by that. Just like, just worry about your own show, man. You got all these characters, side characters, all these plots you do. Why are you wasting your time shit on this one person? But I was fine with this because the person deserves to be shit on is John Edward. And for those who don't know, John Edward was this psychic that could be in a room and be like, does anyone have heard of Dean or Dan or Daniel? Yes, yes. And does the does the month of November mean anything to you? Maybe not. Maybe it's someone else. Pretty much did cold readings. Saying he talked to the dead and I thought he was full of shit. I think he preyed on people and took their fucking money. And I, this is a person I can see why they hated and took a dump on him. And even called him the biggest douche in the universe. Because he was. Because, I'm sorry, John Edward did not talk to dead people. He would say vague things. Hell, I remember hearing, whether this is true or not, he would have stuff recorded, like microphones, so he would hear people talk, and then any info he would get, he would use that. There was even the bit where around 9-11, John Edward wanted to get with victim, uh, the families, and like, we'll talk to your loved ones. And finally, someone grew a brain and said, you know what, this is a bit fucking poor taste. How about not? Let's say not. So fuck John Edward. So, this is one case where I'm glad they took a dump on someone. Because at this point, Tenny is possessing Cartman, and so Chef, it was nice to see Isaac Hayes did a bigger role in this episode, takes Cartman to his parents, which are in Scotland. And so that's going on. Even Chef, when they went to John Edward, you have Isaac Hayes going, I can't believe I got food from that asshole. So while... Chef is taking Cartman to his parents in Scotland to exercise Tenny's soul out of it. Kyle believes John Edward is real, like as in what he does is for real. Stan wants to prove that John Edward's a fake, so he learns what John Edward does, which is these cold readings. He does it himself, but people think, oh, he must be a psychic too. And he's pretty much Stan talking to the audience going, no, this guy's full of shit. I'm going to keep trying to tell you he's full of shit. And then throughout it, they actually do these trailers. Because this is around the time Rob Schneider had all these films like The Hot Chick and The Animal. Here's Rob Schneider, and he's now being turned to a girl. Well, here's Rob Schneider, and now because of weird circumstances, derp -a derp he's now an animal. So they just made fun of it. Which, again, I'm fine, because I don't... I'm not a Rob Schneider fan. I hate those fucking movies, too. So, I, I know that's hypocritical. If it's something I don't like, I'm fine with it. If it's something I do like, you're mad. Hey, I've said everybody's hypocritical, including me. I can admit that. I think we're all hypocritical to a certain point. So, with Rob Schneider, I'm like, okay, the trails were funny. This time, Rob Schneider is a stapler. Look at the silly hijinks. This time, Rob Schneider has been turned to a carrot. And even one trail's like, derp, 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 Rob Schneider is a derp. But the derp, 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 But then the derp, 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 derp. And the movie's called derp, 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 derp. Like, it doesn't fucking matter what it's called, it's just derp upon derpness. Derp, 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 derp. So I like that fucking chef from the Muppets. Derp, 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 derp. 
forgot what the fuck his name was. It wasn't just called Chef, what? Right? Or was it? From the Muppets? I always liked him. He was always cool. And pretty much ends with the alien coming up, down, pick up John Edward, because he did win the award for the biggest douche in the universe. And you tell they really hammered it in, because the end credits has John Edward's face, his real face, on the end credits screen. And the credits are playing, and it's just a song going, You are the biggest douche in the universe. Douche, douche, you are the biggest douche. So they really just wanted to hammer that in. So if you're not into that, you're not going to be into the episode. But, again, this is like, okay, I can see why in this case. And not many shows do that. I don't know many cartoons that would take the time to just shit on one specific person for an entire episode. I don't remember... Anything on The Simpsons, or... I don't know, did any of Family Guy do it? I don't know. But the South Park, they will do it, because they don't give a fuck. Like I said, sometimes I go, eh... Just let her go. And I will say, I prefer the episodes where it's just... You got characters like Butters, you got characters like... You know, Kyle and Cartman. Like, you got your own characters. Especially Butters, who I, I like. You got Tweet... Oh, what was the one? I remember I. The one that had the fight with and they live the late they live fight. Jimmy and Timmy, yeah, Jimmy and Timmy. You had those characters. Like use them more. Let them. You got those characters. Let them be the show. But um, it was entertaining still. I don't know which of these I liked more. They both had the moments, I guess. Maybe episode 15. Just because uh, I agree with the dislike of John Edwards, so. And then and also the Rob Schneider. You know, it's two people I dislike. I have really nothing personal against Rob Schneider, just not a fan of his movies. Then John Edward is more personal, because I don't like him as a person. So, you sh it's shitting on both of them, and, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm for this. <laughs> and, of course, this is, will lead to... Uh, what does it lead to? But This is the, the season where Kenny has been killed, and... It, we already know by the end, Kenny will be back. If we understand he comes back, there's really no explanation. He's just back. Just fuck it. Which I would think they would try to make that longer. But I guess they just want to do it for one season and then just change their mind. So, okay. But I actually like Butters. I liked when he was part of the group. I mean, I, I hate to say it, I'd be fine if they killed Kyle off and just have Butters, Stan, Butters, and Garpin. And then Tenny. I think that'd be a better group, honestly. Because Stan and Kyle, I could give... Kyle is Jewish. Stan vomits when he sees a girl. But I'm... Those are... I could take or leave those two characters, Stan and Kyle. I'm like, if you killed one off, I wouldn't give a shit. I'm like, put Butters as one of those replacements. And I think... I, w I would like to probably even more. But that's just me. But yeah, I just really like the Butters character. Sally... He's in a little bit of episode 14. And not so much episode 15, though. So... But anyway, with that said... Didn't they say they're going to be doing more movies of South Park? I forget what it is. Maybe they did, but it's not really... Not, the not really movie movies. Not full-length 90-minute movies. I think they're movies, but like they're shorter, I believe. I could be wrong. 
Whatever happened to that Beavis and Butthead thing, too? I know this is going off topic, but when... Uh, obviously not them, but... Wasn't there also supposed to be like another Beavis and Butthead thing coming out? I wonder what happened to that. I don't know. But anyway. With that said, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.